Hi, it's me, Sophia again, and as you can't see, you can't see me. And today we're going to be reading Dinosaurs Before Dark, Magic Treehouse, Book 1, by Mary Poppy Oxo. So, some people wanted me to read Chapter 2, and so, Chapter 2 is called The Monster. Jack crawled through a hole in the treehouse floor. Wow, the treehouse was filled with books. Books everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers, new books with shiny bright covers. Look, you can see far, far away, said Annie. She was peering out the treehouse win window. Jack looked out the window with her. Down below, there were tops of the other trees. In distance, he saw Fog Creek Library, the elementary school, the park, and he pointed in the other direction. There's our house, she said. Sure enough, there was their white wooden house with the green porch. Next to the door was their neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Hi, Henry, shouted Annie. Shush, said Jack. We're not supposed to be up here. He glanced around the treehouse again. I wonder who owns all these books, he said. He noticed bookmarks were sticking out of many of them. I like this one, said Annie. She held up a book with a castle on the cover. Here's a book about Pennsylvania, said Jack. He turned to the page with a bookmark. Hey, there's a picture of Frog Creek in here, said Jack. It's a picture of these woods. Oh, here's a book for you, said Annie. She held up a book about dinosaurs. A blue silk bookmark was sticking out of it. Let me see. Jack set down his black pack and grabbed the book for, from her. You look at that one, and I'll look at this one about castles, said Annie. No, we better not, said Jack. We don't know who these books belong to. But even as he said his this, Jack opened the dinosaur book to where the bookmark was. He couldn't help himself. He turned to a picture of a angel. Flying! Reptile, a paraton. He touched the huge black like wings. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish I could go see a paraton for real. Jack studied the book of the odd looking creature soaring through the sky. Ah, screamed Annie. What? said Jack. A monster! Annie cried. She pointed to the top of the treehouse. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. He had a long, weird crest on the back of his head, a skinny beak, and a huge bat-like wings. It was a real live person. The creature curved through the sky. He was coming straight toward the treehouse. He looked like a glider plane. The wind began to blow. The tree's leaves tumbled. Suddenly, the creature soared up high into the sky. Jack nearly fell out the window to see it. The wind picked up. It was whistling now. The tree house started to spin. What's happening? cried Jack. Get down, shouted Annie. She pulled him back from the window. The treehouse was spinning faster and faster. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. He held on to Annie. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Sunlight slanted through the vent window. There was Annie. The books, his backpack. The treehouse was still high up in a oak tree. But it was... And in the same oak tree. I wonder what happens next in Mary Treehouse. Book 1 by Mary Puppy. If you want to hear more books, I mean chapters of this book, please give a like and subscribe. Bye! Thank you for watching my YouTube channel.